Hey guys, Brandon from RCGC here to bring you guys the full info for the Hotline Miami Jacket Character Pack for Payday 2. Now let's get into this. Of course, we've got the little splash page here. Jacket standing there being all awesome, holding his SMG, holding his hammer, and being covered in blood, probably from killing some monsters. And the classic old question, do you like hurting other people? Of course we do. We are Payday players. And we got links right here to pre-purchase Hotline Miami Standard Edition and then Hotline Miami Pre, uh, the Special Edition. And then we got a message from Bane or whoever's on the other side of this phone. Heisters, this is a great day. Once more, Overkill and Denetson Games work together to bring you something awesome. When you pre-order Hotline Miami 2 or its Digital Special Edition, we're giving you an extra Payday 2 loot to go with it. Did you ever want to play Jacket in Payday 2? Now's your chance. Of course, here you, you'd get the, uh, the trailer... I already watched it, and I uh, don't think I got enough time to actually show it. And well, I might. Yeah, I'll just link it in the description. Uh, the regular edition max pack. You will get this for free if you own the if you buy the standard edition uh, of Hotline Miami. Now, no, you do not have to pre-order. Like, say, oh my God, I have to pre-order this now, or else I won't get these. No. These do not act like normal pre-order bonuses for, like, you pre-order, hey, you guys, if you pre-order it now, you'll get these things that only people who pre-order it get. No, you get these, um, even if you don't pre-order, like, if you were to buy this, like, game, like, two months later, you'd still get these masks. Uh, and here we can see, uh, Richard, R I don't know, I never knew how to say this guy's name, even in the Hotline Miami games. I never knew how to say it. Uh, yeah, this looks really nice. Uh, um, Jake, who is a character in Hotline Miami 2, uh, if this will load up, please. There we go. Jake looks, re I really personally like this one. Jake is honestly one of my favorite masks, other than, of course, the biker helmet. And honestly, I absolutely, I've been waiting for this mask for a long time. I've wanted, like, a legit motorcycle helmet just to go in and, like, do heists with. Uh, we got a zebra. I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, I know one of these is either Alex or, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name, it's either Alex or Ash, I think it's Alex and Ash, uh, I don't know what this one's called, maybe John claude I don't know, that, no, wait, that's the horse, and then, uh, Tony's, I don't know, all I know is this, this mask is called Tony, maybe Tony's Revenge, Tony Returns, I don't know, but, uh, it's a more bloodier version, more destroyed version of the Tony mask, looks really nice, I gotta say. Uh, probably my third favorite, and then here's Alex or Ash, I can't remember, I don't know which one it is, probably whatever one is. As you can see, these masks are really well done, really well modeled, and hold on. Sorry for that, just gotta love telemarketers, don't you? <laughs> Introducing the Hotline Miami Mask Pack for Payday 2, acquired when a player buys a standard edition of Hotline Miami 2, wrong number on Steam. Introduced six new Hotline Masks in Payday 2, uh, I'll explain this one later. With the Hotline Mask Pack, uh, heisters can try out a total of 60 masks from Hotline Miami. These are no other than Biker, Corey, Jake, Tony's Revenge, okay, it's Tony Revenge, Richard, and Alex. Uh, I'm gonna say, this is Corey, that's Tony's Revenge, this is Alex, this is of course Biker, Jake, and Richter. Uh, Digital Special Edition Jacket Character Pack. Now note, if you buy the Digital Special Edition Character Pack, you will, well not Character Pack, but the Special Edition, you will also get access to these masks. But if you were to do this, you get access to the Jacket. Although Jacket is the last one to brag, he doesn't speak at all. His achievements in the criminal underworld are widely known. Allegedly, he once wiped out the entire Russian Mafia in Miami, all on his own. His background in the military and his unflinching attitude towards over-the-top violence has made him an excellent hitman, or messenger, as some like to call it. For unknown reasons, he remains completely mute and chooses to communicate only with the help of a tape recorder. Playing back bits and pieces of language, learning tapes, PAs, and documentary narrations instead of speaking. Uh, here we can see it. Essentially, what he will look in the game, and I personally, I don't give a crap if he's not wearing a suit. He looks awesome. I love his mask. I love how he's going to be speaking with a tape recorder. Like, I honestly want to see how that works with pagers. And do you like hurting other people? Upon buying Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, digital special edition on Steam, you'll get the following. Acquired when a player buys the blah, blah, blah. Introduces the six new masks. Uh, jacket. Um, hot jacket of Hotline Miami fame. 
Uh, as a playable character, introduces additional mask called Richard Returns, adds the sociopath perk deck in, pi in Payday 2, adds the carpenter's delight hammer melee weapon in Payday 2, and adds Jacket's Beast, a submachine gun with accompanying weapon modifications in Payday 2. It's, if you always wanted to beat someone's head in as Jacket in Payday 2, now's your chance. Alright, Jacket's stuff. This is what Jacket comes with. Richard Returns, the mask of someone who performs a number of brutal assassinations in response to cryptic messages left on his answering machine. Someone you know is not who you think he is. Of course, we can see uh, the picture now once it loads up, so stop being scrub. There we go. Really, these masks are really well done. I honestly think this is a more cartoony like look, and I honestly, I love it. It looks great. Um... We'll see Jacket's Piece. Jacket's Piece is a modified Mark 10 submachine gun, which is actually... This is actually right, but the store page got it wrong, and actually... If you go to the store page right now, it'll say a Mark 11, which is the very early kind of crappy SMG that you get. This, this isn't actually a Mark 10. I'm guessing it'll be a slightly more powerful. Um, wait, hold on. I... Ah, no. oh, I guess you guys can see it. But yeah, I really like the look of this. It looks like a Mark 11 mixed with the uh, with the Uzi, and I honestly love it. It looks perfect, and uh, just the decals on it, I absolutely love it. Um, anyway, Jacket's piece is a modified Mark 10 submachine gun, sporting a great firepower because of its damage, its damage and high rate of fire. The recoil is difficult to control, however, like Jacket himself. The Carpenter's Delight. The Carpenter's Delight is Jacket's favorite hammer. The hammer is the perfect tool to deliver blunt blows to people you don't like. The most common use for hammers are to drive nails, fit parts, forge metal, and break apart objects. None of which Jacket cares for particularly much. You can see, without the blood, uh, stupid internet, stop being so slow. There we go. Nice little handle and hammer, and I don't know what else to say. It's a hammer. Get used to it. Um, the sociopath. The sociopath is known to be one of the most effective types of criminals. Where he is effective, he is also diff difficult to deal with, which is why larger organizations avoid him. Bold, dis disinhibited, and mean, the sociopath excels in the most violent of jobs. Unable to feel guilt for the crimes he commits, he is a dangerous enemy. Uh, frequently asked questions. Questions. Uh, what is all this then? This is another collaboration between Overkill and Denaton Games. Hotline Miami 2 meets Payday 2 again by adding additional content for Payday 2. How do I get the items? It depends on if you buy the standard edition or digital special edition of Hotline Miami 2. The standard edition of Hotline Miami 2 gives you access to the Hotline Miami Mask Pack, which includes six masks for Payday 2. The digital special edition of Hotline Miami 2, however, includes the jacket character pack as well as the Hotline Miami Mask Pack. Question. I live in Australia, and this is actually very important for people who live in Australia, and honestly, I feel really bad for you guys, because it's sad to hear that Hotline Miami 2 and a lot of other games are either banned or censored there. I hope you guys can, you know, get those, like, laws essentially revoked one day, because yeah, I just feel bad for you guys. Anyway, and Hotline Miami 2 is banned here. How can I enjoy this content for Payday 2? Those of you who are Australians are free to send an email to info at overkillsoftware.com with the subject line Australian Heister calling in. In this, in the email, please attach a scanned copy of your passport or ID that identifies you as an Australian. You will then be sent a special code that unlocks the content to you for free. Question, when will the content be available? It will be available when the release of Hotline Miami 2 on March 10th. On the March, yeah. It will be available with the release of Hotline Miami 2 on March 10th. Question, are the Hotline Miami 2 Payday 2 items pre-order only? No, that would just be mean. Winky smiley face. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever. Uh, Brandon's signing out. Jacket!